Hi. So um, today is Wednesday the 20th and I did walk yesterday. I did not make a video about it. I've um, finished my Revelation Wellness meditating on the word, walking in the word and um, so yesterday I started listening to some old lessons from my community Bible study that I'm in and they're off for the summer but they'll return back in September and I didn't ever finish all of my work so I wanted to go back and visit those scriptures and those lessons so yesterday I was listening to that and that's what I did today as well and um, you know one of the scriptures of course I don't remember what it is but it says to um, remember the things you the lessons you have learned already and do them so um, we have a habit, I think, in this culture to um, be about the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. And um, guilty, guilty, <laughs> raising my hand here. Um, but I, you know, uh, when I heard that lesson, it was like, oh, wow. You know, it's important to God that we learn the lessons and relearn them and relearn them, you know, as so that we're doing them and we're remembering them. So keep that in mind. <laughs> I'm trying to as well. Um, so today's lesson that I listened to was Colossians 3, 18 through 25. And I, um, of course, can't remember what it said. Uh, one of these days, I'm going to have a great memory. So, <laughs> But um, basically, whatever you do um, in word or deed, do it for the Lord. And it talks about um, how children and husbands and wives are to behave. Basically, you know, um, husbands love your wives um, and uh, women submit to your husbands. Children obey your parents, right? Um, you know, these are all um, very important. But the gist I got from the lesson was when I was listening to um, Lolly, I think her name is Lolly Parsons, and um, she teaches at the community Bible study, and um, she was sharing how it's like a race, right? Our life is a race, and um, we're supposed to finish the race well. And um, she was talking about the with the family unit, there's the baton that is being passed. And um, so everything goes well when we don't drop the baton. And so when we look at our roles and as if, you know, we're holding the baton, we're doing um, our part of the race well, and then we pass it to the next one, um, you know, without dropping it, you know, we will get a reward, which is um, our earth, our heavenly reward. And um, just, what she was saying also is that our children will um, continue to carry that baton well also. And uh, who doesn't want that for their children to um, live a life uh, pleasing to the Lord and teach their children and so on. So, I mean, that should be our goal in, in this world. Um, I have thought about all the... Um, times I teach little kids in our church on Wednesday and Sundays now um, and I just think about how uh, our parents are so driven to um, get them to be number one in all their sports and um, their music and, and um, their hobbies and their interests and, and I think that's fine. I do. But what if our parents were striving to make their children um, so um, in love with the Lord and His Word? I mean, what a difference that would make. Now, I'm not saying they're not. Um, but I, I can tell um, when a child is doing work at home versus a child is, um, you know, I mean, they may be doing work at home, but they're not paying attention, right? And then they come to church and they're not paying attention. The interest isn't there. I'm trying to figure out how do we um, get the kids to be interested in the Lord? 
how do we um, cultivate that experience where they are in love with the Lord before they're 50, right? I mean, I know I'm um, 53 and I wasn't always where I am today. Um, and, and life's lessons, you know, got me there. But how long do these children have to get to that point? We don't know. Um, you know, I mean, tomorrow could be their last day. Um, we have to treat every day as if it's our last. So we need to do it well, right? Anyway, I, you know, I'm sorry if it's offensive that I said, um, you know, I think the parents should try to teach them better at home, but I think it's the truth. And, um, and I love, I love our kids and, um, and I love our parents and whatever I can do to help. Right. So, um, I don't know if any of you are listening or will listen, but please, if there's anything I can do to help, let me know. All right, let's pray. Father God, we thank you, Jesus, for this day that you have made. Give us the courage to stand up for your word, Lord. Give us the strength. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And Lord, help us to love one another. And in everything we do, do it as if unto the Lord. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Peace out.